Another tutorial on BD Themes' Element Pack add-on for Elementor, both the free and the pro version. This is JP with Websites for Beginners. What is the device slider? It is something that when you work with clients and you have to promote your digital products, something we use quite often actually. For example, you will go to a website and you will get a layout of a MacBook Pro and then you will paste your image as if it is displayed on the MacBook Pro to give people a little bit more context. Let me rather show you what it does and then you will have a much better understanding how easy this widget actually is. So we look for device and you get device slider. So you know immediately that it is going to be a slider and what pops up there? A screen. And you can change what this frame, well, it's a frame, what this frame is going to do. You can have desktop, you can choose a MacBook Pro, or you can choose MacBook Air. And I really like what they've done, tablet. I hope they can add more and things that look a little bit more realistic. You can see this is SVG probably rendered or PNG at the moment. I would like to see something that looks really metallic. That would also be very nice. So mobile, mm -hmm. uh, Galaxy S9, right? You see the shape, there it comes. Wow, wow, just want to be that big. iPhone X, who's going to win this game? Oh, well, they both go for the same. <laughs> so you'll have to play a little bit with the size. I just want to go back to the mobile. Very curious, the mobile, we get a, a wide screen. So yes, if you're on mobile, that's what you get. The idea is that people can view what you've done in context. So for example, here on the MacBook Pro, I'm working on a website that says order mouth watering dishes directly from your computer. So sit at home and order in. And now you just have to complete the slideshow. So you go to slide item one, you can have just a normal slide like a PowerPoint. You can have an image, you can have a video or you can even add a YouTube link. Let's just play around with images for now to suit our website. I'll add four images so we can have an idea of how this widget functions. And then one more image over here. Did I choose this one? Can't remember. Good. And now you've got a slider within a frame. That is exactly what this device slider is all about. So it's very nice. It gives people the idea this is something that you can do online. It gives them the context, especially often when you want to show somebody, like for example, the responsiveness on a mobile phone, then you will go ahead and you will choose one of these. Let's go for the massive looking Galaxy S9. <gasps> Yummy, mommy, it looks so good. You even have navigation arrows there. And you can do the normal slider settings like you would do with everything else. Let's just see how the slider size work. Yep, you can bring that down. Go down. You're going down. Good. Now it's more realistic. It's looking good. I like it. This is well thought out. What they've done with the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the iPhone X, I hope they can do that for us with the tablets as well. Give us this nice metallic shine for it. And then you have your title layout where you want to position them and your styling options for your title here, navigation, if you want dot navigation and the colors that you want to use with it. This is a very simple widget to get your head around, very easy to grasp where you can use it. And that is when you want to display things as if it is on screen within a context. The device slider by BD theme add-on pack, element pack for Elementor.